everyone welcome and welcome back i am so excited that you're here today today is part two of an ongoing is what we uh, laugh about um series of decluttering and organizing my sweet friend's home her name is tiffany you guys uh if you were here last week then you saw the pantry video well this is her kitchen and so i told her that i would help her declutter and organize her entire home if she needs the help and so she asked and i jumped so here we are back again another week uh tackling her kitchen now let's just put this out there she is a working mama of two uh, her husband also works she is also part of the community um, of a little league and very, very active on the board. Um, and she just, you know, this is life. We get so um, distracted with uh, the little things and even also the important things of raising our children and being, um, being present for them that this stuff doesn't seem it doesn't really matter to to many and that's okay understand that is okay so i told her that i am not one to judge her so i am hopeful that you guys this amazing community will not judge her either because we all have a room or two a drawer or two that looks like this so instead of beating one another down and having side conversations let's motivate one another let's encourage one another let's lift each other up but i will let majority of the music play as you guys will kind of get an idea of what i'll be doing i'll be cleaning and decluttering and getting rid of quite a bit you guys will see the two big boxes that we were able to get rid of um also with I think it was a total of two trash bags, but um, of just things that needed to, that was not able to get donated. So again, welcome and welcome back. I hope you guys are ready for today's video. Uh, if you are new, please do introduce yourself down below. Let me know where you're watching from. And if you're coming from uh, any of Tiffany's social media, because she posted this on her Facebook, meaning her first video, welcome you guys i am so excited that you're here um and so let's get into this i'll pop on here and there just kind of give you an idea of what i had decided to do because i did move a few things and then changed my mind but what i wanted to do first was get into these windows i did use um an all-purpose cleaner i used it twice um sanitized actually all of the cabinets wiped them all down in and out um i also wiped down the countertops quite a bit she actually got on me about washing her dishes and i said girl this is part of the kitchen let me do this so that is what i did but we first started with the windows um and then we went into uh everything else so let's get into this video and hopefully it provides you with motivation or if not inspires you to help one of your friends um or uh or declutter your your space So one of the things that I wanted to do out here is kind of go with the same thing that I did in the in the pantry. Start from one side and work my way all the way around. So I started over by the window over the right side. Um, I did do the sink, the window over the sink first, but um, I wanted to start on this end of the cabinets or the, the kitchen and then work my way all the way around to the left side. And you guys will see that here. Um, as I work through, um, her kitchen now you may be wondering why am I using all-purpose cleaner 
um, because it needed to get cleaned. We needed to get these windows deep cleaned before I actually used a window cleaner. So yes, I did go back over them um, with a window cleaner to make sure that each, both windows got clean from the inside. I did not go to the outside um, and do it from the outside because that's a different project. Again, we're taking each space um, one at a time or a day by day. Um, I was going to try to get to the fridge, but today was just, we couldn't fit it in. Um, but that will be something that we'll come back to. We'll work on the drawers and the next one, also the fridge, work in the dining room. And then if we have the time, we will then work into the living room. So these spaces will be easy. I did not uh, mop because when I come back, I will then mop all of those spaces um, all at one time. Um, because one of the things I want to provide is not only help declutter, but also get them a fresh start of everything being or feeling clean, sanitized, and fresh. So that'll be next. Um, and or that'll come up next in the upcoming video. So once this space, the living space, the kitchen, the dining room, and since the pantry is done, we will then be going into her closet. And we've already been talking about a plan of kind of what her idea is. And so that is most definitely uh, going to be a massive, massive project. She did say she may have to take a day off work for that. <laughs> um, but I think... Um, It'll be so much fun. And again, we have so much fun together. We laughed throughout the entire day. Um, today in particular, she was not able to truly assist as she did before because she had some training she had to do. So, but here again, my purpose of coming over was me to help her do this. Um, she did go through every single thing. I brought it out to her. I said, I need you to go through this. I need you to go through this. Um, and she did. But uh, majority of the heavy duty, uh, heavy lifting, um, in regards to going through everything and organizing it and putting it back nicely was all for me to do. Um, that was my reason for coming over. I'll be the best damn lover you got. I want to mess up your covers. I don't want to meet your mother. Never ever ask me how I've been. Remember why you have my number.
So now that the countertop was cleaned from left to right, I went ahead and started in the center of the kitchen, which was the spice cabinet. We needed to just get through this cabinet in itself before we went on with anything else. I took everything out as you guys saw, wiped it all out, cleaned out the cabinet, and now we're just gonna go through it, organize it, put back what's needed, put back what's used, and whatever she uses but don't use all the time will go out into the pantry on the spice rack behind the door. Um, but we were able to go through this, organize it a little bit. We had a bin for all of the um, fun decorative things that the kids do when it comes to decorating, you know, cupcakes or cookies. So you'll see that. We also got um, the dolly here, the spin uh, tray for all of her used um, spices that she does use on top of having a few spices on the back of her uh what is it where the stove is you guys saw that um on the back side and over onto the left but she actually went back through that and got rid of a few things so it's actually pretty cleaned out and you'll see that um at, on the after part of all of this um but so let's get back into organizing this spice cabinet uh putting things back all of her measuring cups are in here um everything and this was just this was just a lot of fun
So one of the mini cabinets that were difficult to go through was the mugs and uh, she collects the Starbucks travel mugs meaning um, I guess what is it the different states so uh, going through all of that and uh, decluttering and downsizing I can tell you that was difficult uh, to be part of because I have a hard time parting from my mugs and cups so you know it's it's hard for for anyone to depart from things that either came from someone or sentimental value of some sort but honestly the one tip that I can give you is if you don't use it at all just get rid of it I, I have mugs that I don't use but I keep because they have a sentimental piece or just they're they're there's some something that someone gave me but ultimately I, I do need to get through them and uh, get rid of ones that I don't use and so this is actually motivating me to go through my mug um, collection because uh, there are a few that I, I go through or, or use often, which is my Bi Felicia. I actually brought it over here today and my Letter G mug. Um, and then I have a few other mugs that, uh, that I use on occasion. But now we're going into the um, Tupperware section. She thought I was going to have a fit about this and I said everyone has. Uh, a bad Tupperware <laughs> area. I have a bad Tupperware uh, area in my pantry and because we are limited to space, our pantry holds a lot of um, some, you know, holds things that don't need to be in there, which is the Tupperware. But if I, um, but I'm able to, in my home, 
you know, keep it in this one small space where she here has a cabinet. So I'm jealous about this, um, but we were able to go through it, organize it. Um, you did see, or you will see that I would either put some together and then realize they don't need to be put together. Um, I did use a bin, a white bin, um, to help keep all the small ones together so that they don't fall apart because we all know small Tupperware bowls and containers can just, they don't stack well. <laughs> so I wanted to put them in something that I knew that would keep them all together. So that's what I'll be doing here. Um, is just going through all of this, organizing it. She had already gone through her Tupperware, so we didn't need to declutter this um, per se. So we were just gonna go ahead and organize this.
for possibilities Lately you got the best of me So pots and pans can always be so tricky, especially if um, they're not stocked right or placed right. So she did have a couple of racks in here. This one in particular, it actually, the picture showed for it to stand up and stack them that way, but it wasn't sturdy. It wasn't holding the pans in right. So instead I went ahead and laid it down and was able to then place the pans in that way with from the largest to the back to the side, from the right to the smallest over to the left. And then I ended up uh, just using the other rack for all the lids as she had originally had it. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and organize this a little bit. Again, it didn't need to really get decluttered. We're just gonna go ahead and place them back in there nicely and uh, move on to the cups. But before we get to the cups, we needed to organize all of these towels and cleaning cloths and all that good jazz. So I went ahead and split everything up and you'll see here in a little bit of how it all turned out. I wanted to give her just kind of a designated space for her wash rags, her dry rags, and also her cleaning towels. Uh, towels that are specifically for cleaning, such as dusting or needing to scrub something. Um, and, and so I just wanted to give her that space and to also clean out the little cup, uh, cupboard there to the right. Um, I was really excited about this space. One, um, it just turned out so good and so organized. Um, I was able to help her um, hide a little, I have a little hiding spot for her trash bags behind her, her trash can. I don't know if you guys saw 
Next to, or on the side, fr or side of our fridge, we had little magnet shelves where I took one of those, put it behind the trash can and put a roll of trash bags there so that she is able to grab them um, easily and quicker. Um, but let's get back into this as we organize all of this, fold all these towels nicely, um, and just make it look pretty. <laughs>
about time we stop pretending yeah, yeah, yeah. Now on to the last two cabinets left in the kitchen to organize and declutter and clean out. Um, I originally was going to move all of her cups to the top shelf, but I realized how often she actually uses these cups. And so we needed them to be accessible for her. So you'll see that I will end up bringing them back down and organizing them on the in the bottom cabinet and then moving um, the other things such as her other pants that she would use up at the top. So let's get into organizing this and then I'll show you the after.
So now it's time for a quick wipe down, vacuum of the floor, re-wipe the countertops, just have it all nice and pretty so that when her husband comes home, he's able to see and they're able to enjoy it for the night. I did get her to toss out those mats. I was super excited about those um, just because they were old and uh, it's time for new ones. So um, I'm really excited about today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new, again, please introduce yourself down below. Let me know where you're watching from. And if you were inspired or motivated today, again, I'm excited about all of this. I am looking forward to doing more projects with her and helping her declutter her home and this is when i say declutter her home we're going to be doing every single room so one room a week until we can get this entire house done and um i'm excited to be uh, to be helping her so again thank you guys so very much for joining me and if you're new to this community thank you for stopping by if this is your very first video of ever watching of mine um thank you and i hope you i hope you liked it and um i have many different playlists but i will definitely have her pantry uh linked at the end for you guys you guys can go and check that out so um, again, thank you for joining me today and I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Much love and God bless. Don't you look at me like that When you break my heart like that Like you're feeling sorry